I think we're talking about a solid economy. It's certainly not a robust economy. Now, we did see uh, an outperformance in the second quarter at four point, or above 4% GDP, I should say. But the consumer was supposed to uh, spend like gangbusters. And what we saw is that after a pullback at the start of the year, we simply reverted back to the trend pace of spending that we'd seen for the past couple of years. We also saw business investments still positive, but losing momentum. And now, of course, the housing market is raising some red flags. So sure. I, I do think that we're still on solid footing, and we're likely to hear that message reiterated from the Fed, but we're not talking about a robust economy at this point. And I think the risk going forward is that we start to lose momentum closer to a 1.5% pace as we turn the corner into 2019. Jim, would you agree with that assessment? Um, I'd probably characterize it a little bit stronger. It's all relative to what you think is sustainable, of course. And we're getting, even if you average Q1 and Q2 for GDP, a little over 3% on GDP growth in a world where potential growth hasn't shown that it's any better than 2%. And meanwhile, we're getting 200,000 a month or better in terms of job growth in a world given demographics where anything really more than 100,000 a month is going to bring down the unemployment rate over time. So this is an unsustainable track that we're on. The unemployment rate is already historically low. We're starting to see some bubbling in the inflation and wage numbers. So I think it's an easy decision for the Fed to keep on tightening here. To, to keep on tightening today? Oh, no, not oh, today. Mean, They're going once a next, quarter, which yeah. means the next move in September. September yes. for the yes. next move. Uh, one thing we've been watching is this potential for a trade war. And that's how we started the hour today, talking about yeah. the idea that we, we might increase tariffs to 25 percent on $200 billion in trade with China. What, what would that mean? Um, well, I mean, ultimately, a lot depends on how people react to it. I mean, we have nothing to fear but fear itself, as it were. I mean, if markets and confidence truly react badly, then, of course, this all feeds back to the economy. I mean, so far, uh, markets, survey numbers, consumer you confidence. Really, I, I, you don't think there's really anything there just because the housing weakness, some people are saying, may be because of lumber tariffs and higher prices. Um, I mean, I'm, mortgage rates are up a little bit as well. I yeah. mean, housing is maybe kind of flattened out here instead of, instead of going up. But overall, consumer spending looks good. Business uh -huh. investment looks good. Um, so, I mean, obviously, that's a risk. And when Powell talked two weeks ago, he repeated the, the phrase that risks look broadly balanced. Mm -hmm. And when he elaborates on that, he does suggest, yes, there are downside risks on trade, absolutely. And they're worried about that. But there are positive risks out there as well, including the risk that fiscal policy is turning out to be more stimulative than sure. they're assuming in their numbers. And right now, I mean, the economy's chugging along pretty well here. Uh, Lindsay. You know, it seems like an easy call for the Fed, maybe through this year. How does it get tougher next year? I mean, if, if the scenario you paint there is, you know, going back to the longer term trend of slowish growth, where does that leave the Fed with this one quarter, uh, you know, one rate hike per quarter? Pace? Well, it's interesting because also going back to the Fed's commentary that we heard from the chairman on Capitol Hill, he did use an interesting qualifier. He said, for now, gradual policy adjustments make sense for now. So he's really suggesting that in the not so distant future, he does see a scenario where gradual may not be appropriate. So I do think the Fed is also becoming concerned. Gradual not being appropriate because inflation's bubbling up, or gradual not being inflation important, <laughs> being relative because we're facing trouble with trade wars. I mean, you could take that from either direction. Well, I, I think it's more to the downside. I think the Fed is concerned that this recovery is getting long in the tooth, and we may not be able to sustain even this moderate two-ish percent growth, because on the backside, he noted a number of downside risks to the economy, including trade, taxes, rising budget deficits. So I do think that the Fed is concerned about being able to sustain this recovery against the backdrop of waning momentum in these key it sectors. Sounds to me